so what do we have here giant TV chassis very small picture tube experimental set pre-war set no what this actually is is the chassis from my Emerson 648 you may recall that this is in my video on the picture enlarger and uh, bubble magnifier what I've done is I pulled out the chassis and then pulled out the 10 inch pitcher tube and put in this little baby 5 AXP4 pitcher tube what this is is it's a member of a family of pitcher tubes like this 8YP4 and 8XP4 that are used for servicemen while working on sets the idea is that you don't want to have this big heavy expensive fragile pitcher tube uh, while you've got this chassis up on your workbench and you're working on it also these pitcher tubes are pretty rugged uh, and they own and they don't need uh, these ion trap magnets um, they're self-focusing and they don't have they don't need an aqua coating on the outside so this the small round one here is good it should be good for any round black and white pitcher tube like a 10 BP4, 10 FP4, 12 LP4. The two rectangular ones, this guy with the grid pattern on front, which is there so you can test the uh, vertical and horizontal linearity, is 110 for 110 degree deflection sets, I believe. And the 8 XP4 is for 90 degree deflection sets. What I mean by deflection is the angle that the electron beam has to get deflected as it's swapped back and forth. If you don't have the right one, you can use either one, and the picture will be just too big or too small to fit on the screen, but it's no big deal. Another reason these are nice is if you don't have a picture tube or the one you've got is bad, like in my Sentinel set here, while I'm trying to find a replacement, I can still get the set running by using this guy here. Taking picture tubes out is not uh, a trivial task. To get this one out, I had to lo first loosen up the steel band that secures the tube in place. And I had to work on this back end. So what we've got here front to back is a high voltage lead. Don't touch that. Don't go anywhere near it when the set's on or when the set's off until you've discharged the picture tube. They can hold the charge and uh, if, if you're lucky it won't kill you but you're gonna feel it your arm may go flying and bang into something break something so be careful easy way to discharge these is take a screwdriver with a nice insulated handle ground the metal with uh, like an alligator clip and a wire to the chassis and turn this turn the set off of course and slide the blade underneath that rubber cap to discharge the tube and slide it under until you know you've contacted metal. So after that we've got the deflection yoke which is a couple coils of wire to deflect the pitcher tube uh, left and right and up and down. Then in this particular case there's a focusing magnet which is attached to this handle you can slide in and out and it adjusts a permanent magnet. Then there's a focus coil uh, which you, you control the current through and it focuses the picture and then there's the centering lever which actually tilts the entire assembly up and down left and right to center the picture on the picture tube and then finally there's the actual cap with the signals running into the tube so I had to loosen up all that stuff and adjust it and whatnot so I could slide the picture tube out and uh, when I put the picture tube back in I'll have to reverse it and make sure I get all this set up just right this is a pretty finicky set uh, as you can probably tell from that because there's also a whole set of controls in the back in addition to the controls in the front. Anyways, the reason I pulled this out and put this in is that one of these has popped up on eBay and I'd never actually used mine and I wanted to make sure it was good before uh, I put in the one that's out there. This one is good. Uh, it's scratched up a bit and there's a burn spot in the middle but it's good enough for what I care about so I can save some money. These 8 inch guys pop up on a pretty regular basis. I'm pretty sure I paid less than 10 bucks for uh, either of these. This one is especially nice because it's never been used and I got all the original paperwork with it, which is kind of cool. And it was made in Chicago, my hometown. So if you're going to be working on sets um, and you can get your hands on one of these, I highly recommend it because you can uh, save, uh, your, you know, save, uh, protect your uh, expensive, hard to find, hard to replace picture tube while you're working on sets.